tonight, business is booming for a Sacramento area mom whose OnlyFans page got worldwide attention a year ago. What started out as a way to spice up their marriage is now making Crystal and Chris Jackson a lot of money. When their school community found out about their business, things got complicated. KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo joins us now right now with uh, an update on how they're doing. Well, about a year ago this month, we introduced you to Crystal and Chris Jackson, their story generating so much interest and a tidal wave of photo filled features nationally and internationally. So we decided to check back in with him to see how they're doing now. And now to a Catholic school controversy playing out in Sacramento. For Crystal and Chris Jackson. From their home in Sacramento, California, please welcome Crystal Jackson and her husband, Chris. The spotlight has not dimmed. Last February, the couple made headlines. Their three sons are not allowed to attend Sacramento Sacred Heart Parish School anymore. When things like this happen, you do realize like who your real friends are. That mom tonight telling KCRA 3 that her kids are now being punished, even though they didn't do anything wrong. Coming in. Hi. The family faced backlash because of Crystal's sexy housewife persona on OnlyFans, an app known for containing adult content for its members. So they decided to move out of their East Sacramento neighborhood. I mean, the house got vandalized and then we had basically a SWAT call. One year and millions of followers later, How's it been since you've moved? Oh, it's oh, amazing. It's fine, yeah. <laughs> Their big business is still booming. Now pulling yeah. down on average, the couple says two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand dollars a month. But at its peak, the couple saw six hundred thousand dollars a month. It became one of the largest models on the largest creator platform uh, in the world. They're now sharing that platform savvy for free with new or struggling OnlyFans creators. Branding like, well, what is your brand identity? Who are you going to be? What is your persona? You know, my brand is Mrs. Poindexter. She's a lusty housewife. Yeah. <laughs> and they say their kids are thriving. We always get that like, how are your kids? And I'm like, my kids are good. How are your kids? As for what the future holds? In a year, we probably would still be doing something like this. But they're already considering their next act. <laughs> Do you ever consider doing anything else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have we have another business in we're mind. We're just going to run this out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to run it out and see what happens. As for the question on everyone's mind, was it worth it? Through all the ups and downs and like, with the school, then kids getting expelled, and then like the media, it's like it. It has made our relationship stronger. I honestly don't really believe in regrets too much yeah. because it's like you can't go back and change it, right? Crystal and Chris crediting the overwhelming success of the Mrs. Poindexter persona page to their past professional life experiences as MBA holders and engineers for tech startups. They say they applied all that knowledge into the OnlyFans platform and they considered it just like running a business. Edie and Golston. So Melanie, they did mention that they're maybe looking at other businesses. Did they tell you what they're thinking about doing? Well, at this point, they can't tell us exactly what comes next. One option they're talking about, though, is launching a commodities trading platform. Remember, they're engineers and tech startup type people. So for now, Portraying Mrs. Poindexter is still fun and fulfilling for Crystal, so she says she'll end all of that when she gets tired of it. All right, Melanie, thanks for that update.